All right, if you are brand new to Facebook ads or you're not sure if you've installed a Pixel before, I'm gonna walk you through in this tutorial how it is that we get the Pixel set up. The Pixel will relay information from Ads Manager over to your website and vice versa. Without the Pixel, your ads won't run properly. You won't know what your return is and the ads won't work. So this is imperative. Even if you don't plan to run ads for a few months down the road, do it this week. Get the Pixel installed right away and that way you'll be ready to go. It's gonna start collecting information from today on out for this client account that I'm setting this up for. So here I am within Business Manager. Business Manager houses our page, our ad account, our Pixel, everything. So you'll go to business.facebook.com forward slash settings and your screen will look something like mine. And just a note too, that if your screen looks quite different from mine and you can't quite figure this out, shoot me an email because this interface updates all the time. And I had someone who reached out to let me know that they needed an updated tutorial, which I'm more than happy to film whenever we need to because um, yeah, the buttons, they change quite often. So anyway, here we are. Um, under users, you'll find people, partners, pages, ad accounts, just like I said. Uh, our pixel now lives under data sources. It used to be up here, but they moved it down here. So the first thing we need to do is actually create that pixel. So you'll click on view data sets, and then it just prompted me to go ahead and make one. I did it actually right before I um, started filming this tutorial. It prompted me to create a data set, and I, I just named it this. And you can see that it says we are... Um, set up, but what we really need to make sure we're doing is that it's connected on the back end of Shopify. So what I'll have you do is this, click on open an events manager and it's going to prompt you to jump over to Shopify. What I want you to do is come on down here and click up set up meta pixel and you have two options. You can manually install it on your website. If you have a developer, you can send it to them, but the quicker, easier way to do it is to check for a partner. If you're on Shopify, if you use WooCommerce, if you're on any of the big names, you'll be able to find your directions here by coming in here and selecting whatever you need. So I just selected Shopify and now I can click on see instructions. If you click on that, it's going to just open up a tab like this and it will send you through a bunch of instructions. What I'm going to do is just show you in real time what these instructions are telling you to do. So come on over to Meta, or excuse me, to Shopify, and then what I want you to do is type in under apps, I'm just gonna move this here, under apps, type in Facebook and Instagram. If by chance that's not an option, you could always uh, type in Meta, because you know they, they change. <laughs> Give Meta a day and they'll change, so you could type in Meta if by chance you don't see Facebook and Instagram. Then you'll click on get started, and what it's gonna prompt you to do is just to basically run on through, you're gonna connect your Facebook ad account, it'll prompt you to connect any business assets, store details, and then you'll submit for review, and that's how you get it on your, on your site. It's really that simple. So we'll click on next. I'm gonna click on connect account. It just had me log in as my Facebook account, so I did that and it said give Shopify permission, so I clicked yes. Now I am connecting this Facebook page and Instagram account, you'll click connect. Now this is an important part, so we have conservative, enhanced, and maximum. I want you to click on maximum. This allows conversion API to happen. This just basically means we're gonna send the max amount of data that people allow from our Shopify store over to Meta, which again will in turn help our ads. So we will click save. You can see the pixel now that I just made in Events Manager. You guys can see that right here. And if you haven't created one yet, you could also go ahead. It prompts you right here. You could create one right here if you needed to, but I made this just a moment ago. It'll ask us for any kind of extra contact info. You'll click Save. I agree to the terms and conditions, and you'll click Submit for Review. All right, so it's letting us know that they're, they're working on this. Uh, do not refresh the page. And what I'm gonna have you do is, while you're waiting, I want you to jump into Google and type in Facebook Pixel Helper. It's a free Chrome extension. If you have other, you know, if you use Safari, I'm sure there's a Safari version as well. And I have mine right here. It's already installed, so you'll just click on Install for Chrome. And what this allows you to do is to see if your Pixel is there. And so this is my own website. This is not what I was just showing you guys. What I was showing you is for a client, but this is for my own site. And I can see the Pixel Helper tool firing, showing me that my Pixel is there. So that's kind of a nice free Chrome extension. All right, it is still working here. 
while I'm waiting for it to load, just want to share a couple other things. What are you looking at here? <laughs> so one thing that I want you to do after your pixel is installed is take a look at your Facebook shop and your Instagram shop. You'll have an option to customize these. I don't because we are still just working on getting our pixel set up. But what this will allow people to do is to check out on Instagram or check out on Facebook without actually having to leave the platform. Um, this is invaluable, and I'm seeing these days that ads that are also running and have the option of running to Facebook and Instagram shop typically have an even better return than ads that go just directly to the website. So that is an option here, and you can see that it just prompted me that we are all good to go. So now we can customize that shop. These are for lessons later on, way later on in the course, but I just want you to know that this is here and um, would highly recommend getting that set up. Last, just want to share with you, if you at all are interested under settings, you can connect PayPal uh, as another form of payment method. I'm jumping back into Events Manager now where I originally started out at. I just want to let Meta know that I've completed this setup on Shopify. Now, it can go ahead and verify my connection and show me whether or not I did it right. Copy and paste the URL in here. Send test traffic. All right, so here I am on the site. I have a feeling it's going to work already because you guys take a look. I have my Pixel Helper tool showing me that it's, it's doing its thing. And there was nothing there before. So I'm just kind of clicking around. Oh, there's nothing there. So we'll change that. <laughs> okay. But anyway, all right, we're clicking around. This is a newer website, so that's why it's not completely built out yet. And we're going to jump in here. And hey, it says my Pixel is active. If it were inactive, it would be red and it would say inactive. So we'll click next. All right, and if you want to, you can test your events in Events Manager. So if you had product that you wanted to purchase, you could go ahead and do that, but um, I've never seen an issue with it not doing what it's supposed to for those typical standard events like add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase, and all that. Um, if you do want to set up custom events, again, there are video modules later on in this course that will show you how to do that. So we will click Finish. I will refresh the screen. All right, and as you guys can see here, when I'm under my pixel, it is letting me know that I've got a couple more things to finish my setup. Um, one of them is because I didn't do test events right now because you guys saw that the, the products weren't there and available for purchase. So doing that would likely um, get rid of this kind of 67% complete, but I know without a shadow of a doubt that this is here. One other thing that we could do is we could also always click on, let's see if we can try to add one of these to cart. Yeah, it's not gonna let me because this website is brand new, but another thing that you could do, you could even click to add to cart and you guys should drop down that pixel and watch as you click and um, it will change from a page view to an add to cart, which also shows us that the pixel is doing exactly what it should. Um, all right, so it's checking off that we've done both of these things here. And last but not least, you can always click don't show this again because I, I don't need to see this again. I, I know that I've taken care of this and I'm confident that I've installed this pixel here correctly. Um, another just quick something, again, we'll hit on this later in the course, but test events, if in doubt, another thing you can always do, whether it's, you know, purchase you're looking to track or if it's even, you know, an email sign up, you can always test events under this option right here. Check that your website's set up correctly. And what you'll do is you'll just copy and paste. And then you can go ahead and click and add things to cart and those events um, will fire up here. So it'll say page view, add to cart, purchase. So that's another, there's just a third way. If you are just really not sure if you did this right, you can also do that again, those test events here. So the very last thing that you'll need to do is click on settings. So under settings, I want you guys to connect this to your ad account so that your ad account has access to this pixel you just made. All right, so then that kind of brings us back to our original place where we started, which was our business settings section. And what we will do is click on Connected Assets. Then you have your ad account right here. You'll click Add. And now the ad account is connected to the Pixel, and you guys will be able to set up ads and have all that good information go back to your ad account here. All right, that concludes our Pixel tutorial video.